Hello and welcome. My name is Amanda and today I have for you my December monthly plan with me. So you won't see this kit in a haul, but it is just a three page monthly um, kit from Creating & Co. I did order the Happy Planner by accident, the Happy Planner kit by accident, but I was able to sell it to someone in the group. So then I was able to purchase the Erin Condren formatted kit. And then I also have a printout of the book bingo card that I'm going to put on my notes pages um, towards the end of the video. And I just printed that out at home. Um, there was a free download for it on the Creating Inco website. So I printed it on my own sticker paper and then kind of cut it down to size. But basically, um, Creating and Co. kits are the only monthly kits I've ever used in my planner. Um, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do next year in my monthly spread because I am moving into a traveler's notebook. And I don't know if I want to decorate my monthly spread or if I want to just write in it. Sorry, dog started barking, so I had to cut myself off um, mid-sentence or mid-thought. And there they go again. Um, but basically, I don't know if um, next month, next year, sorry, if I want uh, to buy kits for my monthly spread or if I am just going to write in them in pen and whatnot. Um, I am going to white out this December part, which I don't normally do, but because the sticker is kind of a grayish off-white color, I don't really want it to show through. And I didn't do a very nice job of whiting out the flag, so. There we go. But yeah, so I'll have to decide what exactly I want to do next year. Um, I'm going to be using the Jesenia printables on Etsy. I don't know exactly which ones I want to use yet. I do know that um, if she still has it, um, she's got a monthly view with um, like a financial tracker or a bill tracker that I think I would like to use as my monthly. That way I can keep track of um, when bills are due a little better. But we shall see. I've got quite a bit of time to get it all figured out. Okay, so normally from here I would, well, what I need to do is put down <laughs> my days of the week. Um, but normally then I would just go in and lay down my date covers. But I know quite a few of my days are pretty busy. Oh, I don't want to put this over the dog. Maybe I'll move these down. This is going to look funny. Um, but basically, I don't want to have to use undo to lift up little tiny page um, number date covers, whatever those things are called, because those um, 
don't like to be lifted up and laid back down quite as much as other stickers can tolerate. So I'm going to save those for last and get into my day-to-day -day planning right after I lay down these day covers. or days of the week covers, whatever these are called. And then these, actually maybe Saturday will just be my one at the top so that I don't cover up the artwork there. Saturday. I'm not centering Saturday just because I wanted a bit more of that pillow to show. Okay. So, um, I celebrate Christmas. Um, so f just to save some space. I am not going to mark Hanukkah beginning and ending. Or Kwanzaa because they're not my holidays. Um, but it's really nice that Paige does include all of them. Though there isn't a sticker for Boxing Day. Which I know is the day after Christmas. Okay, and now before I get too much more ahead of myself, because I know I already am going to need to lift this sticker up, um, I am going to um, take this sticker off first, just so it's uh, kind of out of sight, out of mind. Um, lay down, I've got two readathons that I'm participating in this month. So I always like to mark those with these long strips here. And I know I'm not going to have enough of the long strips, so I have this um, Blush Babe Glitter Header from Chloe Co. that you can purchase. Um, and I've got my cheat sheet here. So the first readathon I have is the book bingo readathon, which is that bingo card you saw earlier. It runs from the third to the ninth, and I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I'm going to have to use these glitter headers for that since um, my other readathon is 10 days long. Oops. Okay. So even though there really isn't silver in this kit, I mean, this is an off-white, and it might be a silver -y color, but um, there's gold in the kit, and I was, I do have a couple icons to use in 
foil, which I do have in both silver and gold, but because there's the Christmas song that's silver and gold, I thought I would bring in a little bit of silver since there's mostly gold in this kit. And I thought that would be cute. So these are obviously a little shorter than the box width because these are designed as the width of the weekly or the yeah the weekly boxes um, and the monthly view is just slightly wider but that's okay it still works okay and now the other readathon is from the 17th through the 26th. Oh boy. I always wish that the strips were um, the same color or the same pattern. And now I don't really know what I want to do. There's one section. Um, and I don't have enough to, oh man, hmm, okay. Ooh, this makes it tricky. I guess I could always cut this up into strips. We'll do that because I've got 17 through 26. So I need to cover, well, you know what? I'm not going to worry. No, I do need to worry about the 23rd. Hmm. Let me put this one down. And this one will go on the 23rd. Twenty-fourth, I have a birthday, so I'm not going to have enough room anyway. Okay, so basically what I did was lay the piece that I have left down and bump it up to um, where the sticker was and then line that up over here to cut it across 
and get the width that I need. So this will work for Christmas. And then this other strip I can cut, put back down for um, uh, Boxing Day. And then I do have extra that is going to get in the way there, so I'm just going to cut it off really fast. Okay, and now I can put my Christmas sticker back down. All right, so now I need to decide what color labels I want to use for what. Um, I think it would probably be a good idea to mark all of my violin stuff in green. I think I'll do appointments and other such things in yellow. And then my birthdays, because I know I don't have very many of them in red, since there is already quite a bit of the red here in this kit. So I am going to speed through this part just because it's the same as I always do and you'll be able to see the pattern of things as I go through everything. Um, I'm going to select the icons that I need for, um, like violin lessons and whatnot. Um, I usually use asterisks for my violin lessons. So, I'll do a red one here. Hello. Um, green and yellow. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> uh. Oh, 
Okay. And then my student mentor calls, I like to mark with um, these calendars. Do red and I guess I'll just match them. Red and green. Um, okay, birthday call and lesson. That's a work holiday party. Um, I don't really have anything to mark a Christmas party for work, so I don't think I'm going to. Um, concert, concert, readathon, birthday. Got that. I do have another bill due here. birthday birthday and lesson so now I can go ahead and get into the sidebar I'm gonna um, keep this upside down for just a little bit um, is there no month next month hmm. okay so I've got the this month sticker And then usually I use next month down here and um, but it doesn't look like there's a view for next year which is fine so instead I'm going to use the last um, sticker from the creating and co 2018 book club sticker sheet and um no I want it to bump up to that and then I'm gonna use the two be red sticker And then I think probably just do a goals and write down school related things that I've got planned for the end of the year. So next I am just going to do a quick speed through of laying down the date dots. All right, so my camera needed a break and cut out as I was laying down the date cover. So I went ahead and did those off camera and filled in the rest of my planner with this Pilot G2 um, 07 gel pen in gold. So it's looking a little busy for the month, but um, lots of reading things going on, which I'm really excited about. Um, also, just a quick mention. These Oscars are from Creating & Co, but I did layer some silver bows over their books, which are from Scribble Prints Co. And then the um, silver foiled music notes I've got over on this side are from um, Sticky Sloth Designs. Everything else on this page, though, is from Creating & Co. So now for the December notes page. Um, last time I used a kit for a notes page was in August and I didn't even finish filling it out. So it's been a bit of time, but I printed off the free printable book bingo card from Creating & Co's website onto some glossy sticker paper. Um, I don't think I bought the right sticker paper for the ink that I have because it does, um, rub off a little but that's fine because it's for my own use and I tried to cut it to um, match the page but I cut it just a little short it looks like which is fine I'm not too worried about it but basically I thought it would be nice to um, 
keep the bingo card in my journal versus my bullet journal um, because I do have a weekly kit that I'm using this for the week that this is going on as well. So I'm basically going to try and center this in the middle of the rectangular box at the bottom. Um, actually, I'm going to center it to the right or align it to the right. Okay. Don't smudge too much, please. Okay. Yeah, that did smudge quite a bit. Um, good. So that's what that looks like. And then I have this um, silver foiled star washi from Creating Co. that I want to use to make this look a little less plain. So this is my first time using this washi. Um, I think I'm just going to kind of line the bottom here. Grab my ruler and X-Acto knife. It's not very even, but that's okay. All right. Um, and then I think I want red at the top. And then I'm going to use the silver along the side to cover up the rest of that. Where are you? There you are. And like I said, this just adds a bit of color. Um, you could purchase this card from Creating & Co. Um it came or it it would come as um just on cardstock paper um but like i said i wanted mine to be a part of my planner that way i didn't have a loose card to um, have to keep track of Um, but along with that, you had the option to, um, so if you bought the card in the shop and had it shipped to you, it also came with, um, stickers so that you could mark off each, um, category you checked off to get a bingo. I will have, if you're interested, I will have a video of my TBR and explaining what the book bingo is up after, no, probably before this plan with me. Um, I'm not entirely sure when this is going up compared to the rest of my videos anymore because I think I'm switching it around a little bit. And, oh no. Okay. And then, I'm gonna do this over. Um, but I think I'm just gonna use like a bunch of leftover stickers of some sort that I have. I'm not too, too worried about having, oops, oh no, stickers specific to marking them off. I'm still new with this whole washi thing, so I'm incredibly clumsy when it comes to using it. Okay, and then gonna waste any and put it on that side so 
this is basically all I've got set up for my notes page. Um, nothing too fancy for it, but I do like it. Um, it'll be nice to have this in the same spot as um, just tracking the rest of the readathon, though I know I'll probably have a spread of some sort for it in my bullet journal. But I do like this. And it'll be fun to flip back on over the years. So that is it for my um, notes page and my monthly spread. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will chat with you down in the comments until my next one. Bye!